Hello, um, it was so wonderful to see so many of you at the events that I was attended this weekend, whether it be our NICU celebration in um, Vineland, which was just great. We got to celebrate the kids, we had the carnival. It was just a wonderful day um, to really celebrate the 10 years, the tremendous expansion of the types of children that we can care for, meaning, you know, at the very, very first weeks of life, we can now provide full services in our Vineland facility. So then that happened in the morning and then in the nighttime, I got to be in Woodbury. Um, we had the big Woodbury parade and it was just a great time to celebrate all the things that are happening in the city. Today I'm here at the Life Center, our brand new facility on South Black Horse Pike, right in Williamstown, near Palermo's Pizza. Um, for those of you who know that strip mall, it is just a gorgeous facility and life provide services for individuals who are over age 55. You need to have um, three activities of daily living. What does that mean? That means if you have limitations in mobility or you can't um, dress yourself or feed yourself in reference to being able to cook your meals. It is not a day program. It is a, a program that provides behavioral health, clinical services, and so we're so very excited. We've had such success in our Vineland area uh, for the last 11 years in oper operating this program. Served over 900 people. We already have individuals already interested in coming into Williamstown. We're just waiting for that final approval um, from the federal government and we will be ready to go. So I wanted to let you know that we are here. You know, one of the things in the um, we judge in our hospitals is how many days since a serious safety event. And we look at that over time and it's so very important that we can keep people safe. In the LIFE program, it's even a harder challenge because people are so frail that, you know, things can happen. I'm so very proud of the team members and the, all of the work that the um, folks have done. We've had 600, so, you know, almost two years without a serious safety event in our program. So congratulations to the team. Um, we talk about these things in the community because we want you to know that it's something that we are absolutely focused on, the safety of our patients, the safety of our staff. So today I want to tell you about one of our patients, Florence Guderi. Um, her friend Catherine had, was already enrolled in our LIFE program in Vineland. And you know, it's, it's the same things that, that we all go through at times, but especially as you get older. Florence found herself depressed. She found herself having continual issues in reference to um, how she was managing her medications and just her, her overall health. Even though she had depression, she knew that she wasn't doing well. She felt herself moving slower and slower. And she just sort of put Catherine aside and appreciated her, her um, suggestions, but didn't really want to go there until she fell. And she ended up all night on the floor, not able to get to help. And then she realized, you know what? Maybe there is a better way. And that's when she um, reached out to our life team. We worked with her on the application and I'm thrilled to tell you that Florence feels like it changed her life. I joined Inspira Life two years ago. Before I joined, I sat home all day, week in and week out by myself. I was depressed and tired of being alone. And the bus comes and picks me up at the door. There's always an aide to help me. And they bring me here. Then they bring me home again in the afternoon. It's done me a world of good to come here and have a social life. I'm blessed to have this. And spirit life is wonderful. We are so excited about our new facility in Williamstown. We know that this is a much needed service in Gloucester and Salem County, and we look forward to working with the community to provide this much needed service. Today, I also wanna recognize some of our top physicians honored by SJ Magazine. It means that we continue to have doctors that exceed expectations of the patients, that receive high quality scores, and that people wanna to come to. And so we just wanna make sure you know that they're associated with Inspira and that we've got all this um, great expertise available, and most importantly, our full range of services. So October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. That's why I started with the pink mask today. When you think about breast cancer, it really begins at the very, you know, at the initial mammogram, making sure you're doing those screenings and then every single step of the way. Um, if indeed we identify an issue, how we have our entire care team working with you, making sure that we have that individual program. So um, I encourage you, I had my mammogram last month. I know it's our least favorite thing to do as women, um, but the reality is it's so very important. You'll see our new ad that's up. We're um, very excited about it. Again, a little edgy, but it's exactly what we want to, to gain your attention. So again, I wanna thank you for using our services. We are so very proud to participate in the breast cancer awareness activities. They're so critical to our patients and our staff give their hearts to um, make sure that they can protect our patients and support these community organizations that also support them and partner with them. 
Until we meet again, be well and stay safe.